So we've got a David versus Goliath video for you today. A brand that you may not have heard of, Tacomo, gonna to be up against one of the biggest brands in golf, which is Callaway. We're gonna put these up against each other, gonna test it, but we've also got a, uh, a draw for the giveaway that I did in the review video, the Tacomo irons. That will happen today, so we're gonna be picking a lucky winner towards the end of this video to win a set of the Tacomo irons. Not a bad opening shot there. So to, Tacomo irons we're kicking things off with. As I said, I've done a full re re review video of these irons, so you can pop a little link up, you can go and check that out yourself, so a little bit more in depth. But basically, they are a direct consumer sort of business model. So you're not gonna find these in the pro shops. We've talked a lot about the pros and cons of a type of iron like that, or that business model in, in terms of that direct to consumer. So obviously the big pros here is the price point. So 430 pound for seven piece, or seven irons in a set is fantastic value, isn't it? But what are the negatives that? You're not gonna find them in the shops. You're not gonna get them in your hands and, and see them. You're not gonna feel them. You're not gonna be able to try different shafts in them before you make your purchase. You're not gonna test them up against maybe other brands out on the market. So that obviously is a negative and, you, and very much so you are bl buying blind. But then, you know, there's obviously a trade-off. The price is very attractive, isn't it? Touch low in the face on that one, but it feels good. You know, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not the best looking iron in the world, but it does sit nice it, uh, behind that golf ball. You know, a little bit of offset, sort of medium, chunkish top line there, but obviously you've got a bit of cavity there. So you've got that bit of forgiveness. Tiny bit pulley on that one, but again, the flight looks pretty good. Feel off the face is pretty decent, you've got to say. So this 7 iron is, is 31 degrees of loft, so it's it's obviously not mega strong, but at the same time, it's not in that very traditional uh, sort of category. So it's an iron, or it's a, a loft that you're typically gonna find on this sort of mid-cavity sort of iron, trying to offer a little bit of that feel, looks, but with that little bit of power. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be giving a set away of these Tacomo irons. And if you did watch the review video and you commented 201, underneath there, then you are entered and you want to pick a winner in this video a little bit later on. Okay, so moving into the Callaway Apex 21 iron. Obviously Callaway, one of the biggest brands in golf. They are huge, aren't they? And they produce some fantastic equipment made, played by some of the best players in the world. But again, going back to this price point, so seven iron set with the Callaways are gonna cost you around about that thousand pound mark. Now, Again, there's a huge difference of price, isn't there? But what, what are you getting for that price extra? Now, obviously Callaway do probably extensive testing, R&D, you know, research, development. That's obviously gonna cost, isn't it? The, the brand is huge, but at the same time, they're gonna be probably using some high, high level materials, probably more so than maybe Tacomo possibly. And then you've got to think about their spend on tour. You know, they're going to be, you know, paying their best players in the world some money to play these irons. So ultimately, at the end of the day, you guys are going to be paying for all this, aren't you? So hence where the price is. And obviously the advantages maybe with the Callaway there is it's going to be readily available through shops, through fitting centers. You've got tons more shaft options, grip options. You've got the ability to interchange all these shafts in, the, in these fitting heads like the one I've got in my hands. You can try it, you can test it, you can see it, you can feel it. Can't you? So again, that is, for me is a huge, huge advantage. So Apex 21 iron, it's 30.5 degrees of loft. So there's only half a degree difference of loft between these two irons. And an iron that's in a very similar sort of category, really, you know, that, that forged head as with the Tacomo, little bit of a cavity in there. So again, it's offering that feel, that looks with a little bit of that power. Oh, that's good. And that feels great. We know the Callaways do feel good, don't they? But you know, is it is it so much better than the Tacomo in a feel? I think it is a better feel there, but I tell you what, there's not a great deal in it. Oh, that does feel good though, to be fair. Really does feel good. Sort of nice, sort of tight little dispersion happening here now with the Callaway. So I've got the shafts very much the same built up the same. So the comparison is as, is as similar as I can possibly get it. Oh, slightly low strike, but again, the flight is very, very similar to the ones I've just hit before, which were better connections. I'd be interested to see distance wise on that particular one. I actually gone a little bit further there. Slightly low strike, wasn't perfect. So a good bit of power offering there, forgiveness levels. Okay, so we're gonna hit one more shot. Let's get into this giveaway. Oh, that's lovely. That 
is a really good feel. I think definitely feel-wise there, the Callaway is edging it. Do you know what? And again, feels very personal, isn't it? Looks are very sort of personal. You know, I do prefer the look of the Callaway. Maybe it's Tacomo there. It's just a little bit too much offset for me, but that's obviously just an offset. So if you have a look at the numbers quickly there, just between those two irons, you see clubhead speed pretty identical. Ball speed just a fraction more with the, the Callaway, possibly just that little half a degree, just edging it a little bit more. Touch more launch with the Callaway and a touch more spin. Distance exactly the same. We're not probably going to see much of a difference at the distance. At the end of the day, the lofts are very, very similar, aren't they? Um, you know, maybe that consistency side of things you'd be looking into, the feel, the looks, obviously that's more of a personal choice when you're choosing between some irons. And of course now, this particular test, the price point can obviously have a, an influence there. But again, you can't unfortunately get to test this Tacomo iron to get some numbers. Obviously these are my numbers, they're not your numbers. So your numbers can be very, obviously very, very different. Okay, so we're gonna do the draw to find out looking if the Tacomo iron. So in the review video, you had to comment down below two to be entered. So I'm just putting the URL for that particular video in. It's going to find all the comments, filter out any duplicate comments. Let's get the comments loaded up. And there was lots of interaction with this, which is great. Unfortunately, I did get spammed on this. Many of you realized that. So hopefully that um, didn't cause too much confusion. So 1,167 comments in total. So thanks to everybody who commented. And we're going to find our lucky winner now. Who can it be? Okay, so congratulations, Robert Hardy, 201, you have commented, so you are the lucky winner of the Tacomo irons. So do get in contact with me and we'll arrange uh, shipping of those irons to yourself.